Whenever anyone turned around to me and said, don't do something. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at celebrities thirsting over David Beckham. We'll also be sharing some interesting facts about his career. Let's get this started. Who is the most famous person in your phone? My husband. Oh, my husband. Oh, my husband. <laughs> David wanted to be a footballer since he was a kid. His parents were major Manchester United supporters, traveling 320 kilometers to London to attend their home matches. Um, I stalked David Beckham around the, the, the Whole Foods on Santa Monica. You and I never him complete all around the supermarket. Throughout the produce. And I, I finished at the, at the cashier. His autobiography, Beckham, Both Feet on the Ground, is an international bestseller. In the book, David mentions he attended church every week with his parents just so he could play football for their team. He signed for Manchester United as a trainee at the age of 16, and then as a professional before his 18th birthday. Well, just look at those abs, right? Yeah, no, he's good looking. He's, he's a good looking he's man. The film Bend It Like Beckham is a tribute to David for his ability to curve the ball around or over defenders, making it look like he bent his free kicks. He and wife Victoria planned to make cameo appearances, but their schedules were too hectic. Was something special. That was brilliant, really good. David did have a short scene in the movie Goal the Dream Begins with fellow footballers Zidane and Raul. Santiago, congratulations, you were amazing today. Oh. Thanks. David bought a winery in the Napa Valley for Victoria's 34th birthday in 2008. The couple enjoy making vintage wine with a team of specialists, but don't have any plans to sell it to the public. They keep the location private, making it accessible only to family and friends. You find him so attractive, David Beckham, that you would eat an egg off of his, his, his abdomen? That's right. Conan, yes. And what if Beckham won't comply with this simple and reasonable request? <laughs> right. <laughs> In 2001, David was voted number one best male body by Celebrity Bodies magazine, while Heat magazine praised him for being the best dressed male. He was also named People magazine's sexiest man alive in 2015. If you have a look at David Beckham's abdomen, I defy you not to think momentarily of eating a sunny side up egg off of it. <laughs> David got voice coaching to help him sound more eloquent. He also took classes to deepen his voice. It's rumored David wore a different pair of football boots for every game he played, with each pair costing around 300 pounds. You look great. You look adorable. So do you. And I've missed you. And uh, miss you, you, you never call. I don't know why. <laughs> you really look great. You, you look just, you're just cute. You just are. David's marketing campaign for David Beckham bodywear for H&M involved installing nine 11-foot statues of him in his briefs around Los Angeles and San Francisco. David took out insurance for his famous legs to the value of 100 million pounds in 2006. In the movie Love Actually, David's feet are mentioned as being one of Great Britain's greatest treasures. David pointed out Victoria Beckham to his best friend when the Spice Girls came on TV one day. It was love at first sight. He said that if Victoria felt the same, they would be together forever. That was in 1997, and they'll soon be celebrating 22 years of marriage. Wow. I mean, yeah, look at him. Yeah. But he, he said he's just a family guy hard, and he said he's retired from soccer, but he's not retired from working. He has a really strong work ethic. He does a lot of charities. He works with UNICEF. So he's not just really, really hot with really good abs. He's a good dude. But David and Victoria's wedding cost around $800,000 in 1999. And they got married at Luttrellstown Castle in Dublin. Would you get married in a castle? Let us know. David is the most wonderful husband and fantastic father oh, and oh. a real inspiration to all of us. You know, mm -hmm. he's hardworking. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, yeah, he's a really, really, I'm lucky to have him as my soulmate. Oh. Roger the alien and family guy once shaped a napkin to look like David Beckham. Who wouldn't want to be made into a napkin? Did you know David has a fear of birds and a fear of disorder? Victoria says David's closet is color-coordinated and his cans of soda are lined up in the fridge. You know, I, like any normal person, just go, 
hi, David Beckham, and like double name him. And he was like, you know, oh yeah, I've heard so much about you. What do you say? Oh yeah, I've heard so much about you too. Like, <laughs> it's David Beckham. So, you know, turns I'm chatting to Guy and I'm thinking, Guy, I can't have a normal conversation when I know shirtless David Beckham is around the corner. There are rumors he has OCD, but he has never been diagnosed. There's like um, two bottles of water and two bottles of Coke and two bottles of Sprite. Um, if there's an extra can, then I take it out and put it in the cupboard and hide it. So, so it's got to be two and two and two? Yeah. So you don't like the odds? No. And How do you feel about bees? Well, David Beckham is a beekeeper. His hobby started last year during lockdown, but it's become a passion project. He even built a hive and is working on releasing his own organic honey. David's favorite meal is an East London delicacy. It's pie and mashed potato with a side of jellied eels. Yes, eels. Have you tried it? Let us know in the comments. It was two, three hours of intense uh, workout, but it worked, it worked out well. It sure did. But I love it. <laughs> David and his family own multiple properties, including a 20 million pound high-rise apartment in Miami with its own helipad, pool, and gym. Oh, and did I mention every apartment in the skyscraper has its own bank quality vault? Who was your first celebrity crush? Uh, David Beckham. <laughs> really? Yes! Wow, that's fantastic I that know. you married your first crush. So you've got a vi it's about creative visualization. David has a tattoo of Victoria's name in Sanskrit, but it was spelled incorrectly. It actually translates as Victoria instead of Victoria. Finally, he turns the camera back and I thought, Naomi, whatever you do, just call him David. And I was like, bye, David Beckham. <laughs> and, and like, the, I mean, and then my cousin just walked in. She was like, what is wrong with you? But I'm like such a huge fan. David and Victoria named their son Brooklyn because they were there when they found out Victoria was pregnant. Also, Brooklyn's godfather is the legendary Sir Elton John. You're, you're good looking. You really are. You're real good looking. David founded the David Beckham Football Academy in 2005, but it closed four years later. He recently started a training academy to help gamers improve their video game skills in FIFA. Finally, he like looked at me and I'm like behind the magazines like... <laughs> and he looked at me and I was like, would you like a picture? His aim is to give gamers skills that will help them in real life as well. What do you think of his new venture? Leave a comment. And that wraps up our video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more binge-worthy videos like this. How much longer, David? I reckon 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It does say on the box that it's for an 11-year-old. You are 44, you know that. <laughs> yep, you're 45.